Now let us see this problem. Show that L is equal to 0 power n square such that n greater than or equal to 0 <coughs> is not regular. We can prove whether a language is whether a language is not regular by using with pumping lemma. So the name of the concept is pumping lemma for regular languages. So what is the purpose of pumping lemma? By using pumping lemma, we can prove a language as not regular. So let us see the solution. So initially assume this language is regular language. Let L be a regular language. Initially assumes this language is a regular language. And let us take a value called n. n means a constant, a positive integer constant. And let z be a string. So we have to assume a string from the language. So from this language, from the language L, such that so by satisfying this condition, we have to assume the string. Mod z is greater than or equal to n. Okay. Here first let us write the language L is equal to here n value starts from 0 so 0 power n means 0 so 0 power 0 square means 0 square means 0 so 0 power 0 means uh, 0 number of zeros that is epsilon next n becomes 1 so 0 power n means 1 0 power 1 square means 0 power 1 0 power 1 means single 0 next n becomes 2 0 power n square means 0 power 2 square. 0 power 2 square means 0 power 4. So that means 4 zeros. Next n becomes 3. 0 power 3 square. 3 square means 9. So 0 power 9 means we will get 5 zeros. 9 zeros. So 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So likewise we will get n number of zeros. So this is an example for a perfect square. So 0 number of zeros. 1 number of 0, so 0 square, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, likewise so on n square, okay. So this is the language, so from this language we have to assume n value. It may be either 2 or 3 or 1 or 4, any value. Here I am assuming n as 2, so let n is equal to 2. If n is equal to 2, then what does the string will become? 0 power n means 2. So 0 power 2 square means 0 power 4. So 0 power 4 means we will get 4 zeros. So then the string will become 4 zeros. So we have to satisfy uh, whether uh, we have to satisfy this condition. Now let's check whether this condition is satisfied or not. So mod z is greater than or equal to n. So mod what is z? So z means 4 zeros is greater than or equal to what is n? n means 2. So mod means length of the string. So here we have four zeros. So four is greater than or equal to two. Condition is true. So we can say that our string is correct only. So next what we have to do is divide the string. What is the string? Z into three parts. So we have to divide the string into three parts such as let us assume that those three parts are u, v, w in such a way that so we have to divide the string into three parts by satisfying this condition in such a way that the first condition is mod uv is less than or equal to n the second condition is mod v is greater than or equal to 1 next we need to check uh, if this if these two conditions are satisfied then we have to check this case also for i is greater than or equal to 0 u v power i w is in l so let's check whether these two conditions are satisfied or not so before that what is the string here four zeros we have to divide this string into three parts it is our choice but we have to satisfy these two conditions okay four zeros are to be divided into three parts okay uh, u may become two zeros v may become single zero w may become single zero are u single 0, v single 0, w two zeros? It is our choice, but we need to satisfy these two conditions. Let us assume that u is denoted by 0, v means 0, w means 0, 0. So let us check the two conditions. What is the two conditions? Mod uv is less than or equal to n. Mod 
what is u u means single zero what is v single zero is less than or equal to what is n value 2 so 0 0 length is 2 so 2 is less than or equal to 2 condition is satisfied okay the second condition is mod v is greater than or equal to 1 mod what is v 0 so mod 0 is greater than or equal to 1 so mod 0 means what uh, here the length is 1 length of 0 is 1 so 1 is greater than or equal to 1 so condition is satisfied but here we call uh, yeah 1 is greater than or equal to 1 the condition is satisfied okay we can divide uh, this into uh, let u let u is double zero v is a single zero z is a single zero let's check whether the condition is satisfied or not mod uv is less than or equal to n u means zero zero v means zero so three three bull zeros we will get three less than or equal to two condition is false so we can't uh, divide like this okay so likewise we have to divide based on the condition by satisfying the condition and what is the third what is the next case for i greater than or equal to 0 u v power i w we have to check this case what is u here 0 what is v here 0 initially assume i is equal to 0 initially assume i is equal to 0 because here the condition is i greater than or equal to 0 so we have to start from 0 onwards so next what is w w means two zeros okay u v power i i means what zero so zero into this is nothing but zero power zero means zero number of zeros means epsilon so zero into epsilon into zero zero so that is equal to three bull zero three bull zero is not present in the language here three bull zero is not present in the language so we can say that this language is not regular language. Why? Because initially we assumed this language as regular language. Regular language. But here which result we got? Entirely contradiction result. Contradiction means what? Reverse. Initially we assumed the language as regular. But we got a string which is not present in the language. So we got contradiction result. Reverse result. We got a string which is not present in the language. So this is contradiction. So we can say that we can say that this language is not regular. Suppose uh, if we got four zeros, if we got four zeros, then four zeros are present in the language. So likewise, uh, we have to next check for i is equal to one. Next check for i is equal to two. Next check for i is equal to three. So likewise, we have to continue the procedure until we get a string which is not present in the language. But initially, in the first case only we got a string which is not present in the language. So we can say that this language is not regular.